Hi lovers, welcome to my channel. My name is Made for Love and welcome to a Metal King update. Now we call this reading the Metal King because the particular deck that I'm using for this reading um, is the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms and the very first day that I use this card, this deck, to do a Divine Masculine update, bam, the first card that popped out was this. This is how the Divine Masculine wanted himself to be identified as the metal king cloaked fully in armor wearing his mask when we you know in the first few months this car used to pop out like nearly every reading now i can't even tell you when last this car pop out and that's because for a lot of them with the exception of those that are just starting on this journey for a lot of your masculines have already gone through the the ego death right they're in like the death throes of the ego death right now so all this armor that they had previously to hide their wounding is dissipating because they're actually addressing the wounding that it was hiding. Okay, so I just pulled it out, you know, just in memory of the Metal King. Because that cycle has ended to 37, Metal King is gone. He used to be the Divine Masculine now. And until he does, everything that he touches will be rendered void until he steps into who he's supposed to be in this life everything that he touches will be rendered void even your connection until he's that vibrational match it's not going to work and he has to figure that out so let's get an update and see what's going on with him all righty <clears throat> let's have a look at what ha what's happening so these cards are usually um, used to see what's going on with them um, spiritually. Spiritual changes, mostly. Okay. Let's see what's happening with our former Metal King about to turn Emperor. Well, he's taking about Sacred Union as per usual. <laughs> that card, now that card comes up regularly all right so we have here the spirit whisperer i told you guys this a lot they're in communication with spirit and they're receiving divine guidance right now and tapping in to their higher knowledge their higher self their higher knowing a lot of them are clear cognizant they just know they know they're getting these 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 messages direct the eagle here direct from spirit they're collaborating with spirit right now they are the spirit whisperer okay so they're receiving a lot of di di um, divine guidance right now a lot of downloads i'm gonna pull some cards from um one of my other decks and see what's what's that what that is all about and we have the lady of the mirror so they're doing a lot of self-reflection right now and i think they're they're viewing themselves with kindness i think they had a lot of judgment of themselves before I think there was a lot of going on for them underneath the surface. But now they're viewing themselves and the actions that they took with non-judgment and recognizing that this was just the path that they had to go down in this life. And it's just all it's all happening to make them uh, a more stable. We have four four here. And a more grounded and stronger individual. Four four reduces to eight, right? That's about the strength card. Um and they're here, this is my creator card. I usually leave these in the deck, right? And this is about them co-creating with spirit and wanting to manifest some sort of abundance here. So they're in manifesto manifest mode. And there's something that they want to manifest. Let's pull a card. What do they want to manifest? Yes, yeah, so they've made some sort of decision. They've gotten rid of the illusions and the secrets and the lies in their life. Um, a lot of it with regard to a karmic energy now this karmic here this queen of wands reverse this is the karmic most likely to interfere in the spiritual realm this is also the one that abuses their authority they might even be physically abusive that particular karmic yeah um they don't want to be back and forth and inconsistent anymore they don't want to be a player anymore they just want to release themselves from a nightmare and that they're in that sap their energy sap their strength and they know that the only way to release themselves and to manifest this new beginning that they want to manifest is for them to rush in and speak their truth. Okay? Let's get some other cards. 
Wow. <clears throat> right, this card has been coming out regularly and that's the Fire Prince. So this is about them really unveiling their spiritual gifts and really standing in their power. It says optimism and aggression. So right off the bat, it makes me think of the Sun card, but this is a prince and the Sun is the Divine Masculine. So they're not really there yet, but that's where they're heading towards, right? They're recognizing that the power really lies in their hand. And this looks like the Ace of Wands, right? So if they really want this new beginning for themselves um, and with their DF, they have to stand in their power and they have to rise like the Phoenix. They can't lie down there and feel defeated, okay? They have to be like the Phoenix and rise. So these are the kind of downloads that they're getting right now. And they're being inspired or guided by spirit um, to send you some sort of message here. It says the word Lord, communication, praise, dishonesty. So they want to talk about um, how much they admire you, but they also want to tell you about the ways that might have been deceiving you um, in the past. Okay, and all this is guided by spirit. We have here um, card number seven. So there is definitely communication with spirit at this time, whether it's through synchronicities. I'm going to pull. Yeah, Metal King was knocked off his pedestal. That high horse that Metal King was on, he's been knocked off by spirit and he's had to humble himself because of this, the Queen of Light. He's been illuminated, he's been enlightened. And he's really ready to celebrate this love. Um, 15 um, is the card of the devil. So he's moving out of toxic energy. Well, some of them, uh, getting a lot of them are quite depressed right now. Because um, I'm getting a lot of headaches right now. <laughs> so I think a lot of them, they're, they're kind of in a low vibration. But, you know, they know they have to pull themselves out of that. So they know they have to release themselves from their addictions, their toxicity and really move into the vibration of love because 15 well enough reduces to six right so you have been that example of the light where have we seen queen of light lately which deck i will think of it but we saw it i think yesterday yes in the greek mythology cards yeah i think we did Anyway, so they're there. You have been their inspiration and really illuminated the path for them. And they know they have to move out of that devil energy and come towards you if they want the sacred union. So for a lot of you, you might be feeling a lot of strong sexual chem chemistry. You might be feeling emotional, but that's really them. Most of it is them because they're now really focusing on what they really want and what they, what's really going to make them happy. And they're recognizing that they want more than the superficial relationships that they've been pursuing um thus far okay i'm gonna pull some cards from my i didn't plan to but as they talked about the spirit whisperer and the divine guidance i am going to from my twin experience deck and let's see what kind of synchronicities or guidance they are receiving at this point in time all right let's have a look <clears throat> what are they experiencing on their journey at this point in time this is not usually part of my readings but gotta go with the flow today okay whatever the spirit directs me today i have to go with the flow it's like they're receiving some kind of wake-up call or alarm from spirit right that car alarm just went off. Everything that happens in a reading is part of the reading. All right. All right. So for a lot of them, they're going through some kind of betrayal right now. Um, that's really not, that's really not them off their pedestal. Okay. Um, but all this is karma um, for the things that they may have done in the past, things they may have done to you, things they may have done in prior relationships. It's all karma. So that's why a lot of them are doing a lot of introspection right now. That's why they're so open to spirit because that ego has finally been cracked open. Okay, so what are they experiencing right now on this journey, spirit? All right, so we have Taurus here. So there's something maybe about Taurus season that might have happened, or maybe they're planning to do something in Taurus season. Um, maybe Taurus se season might be... Um, might be significant for you guys or they could be embodying the energy of Taurus and the energy of a Taurus is um, it's slow moving 
um, it's methodical, um, it's hardworking, and it can endure. And it's slow to anger, no matter what people say. I'm a Taurus. <laughs> it's very, very slow to anger, you know, and it's very patient. A lot of people don't know that about Tauruses. They're incredibly patient, right? So this is the energy that they're embodying at this point in time. I'm going to pull cards on it. So we have that Taurus energy. Some of you might be dealing with a Taurus, or you may be a Taurus. You have that in your chart. Or there might be something about the full moon in Taurus. You know, I have to get my Moonology deck because there's, they're, they're telling me to get that card from the Moonology deck with the full moon in Taurus. I'm going to get it in a moment. Um, we have Divine Plan. So it looks like they are surrendering to Divine Plan or they are seeing the truth about Divine Plan. This is, this is blue, right? So I think there's a surrender to Divine Plan here. Um, we have Karmic Cycle. So we're going to clarify and see what Spirit wants to tell us about this Karmic Cycle. And we also have them running, <laughs> ah, running, running. What's that song by Beyonce? Running, can't run for myself anymore. <laughs> so we're going to clarify and see what that's about. But just give me a moment. Let me get that card from the Moonology deck because Spirit says there's a message there for us. Okay. Yeah, guys, I got it. I got it. So let's see what is this message that Spirit has for us. <laughs> and can you believe it's like the third card? Full moon in Taurus. I knew it. Full moon in Taurus. And this is a message that Spirit wants us to, have, to get. Your dreams need a practical plan. And I think this is what this person is doing right now, your person. Um, they're trying to come up with a, pla a practical plan to manifest um, this sacred union that's always in their dreams. Or manifest you. <laughs> that's always in their dreams. So their dreams, they know it needs a practical plan. And that's what they're working on right now beautiful thank you spirit for that message all right so let's clarify and get the additional messages that spirit has first but that's what they want you to know that your person right now um they are embodying that taurus energy that full moon and taurus energy and it says your dreams in a practical plan so they're trying to come up with a practical plan um to manifest what they want to manifest and get into alignment with divine plan so spirit tell us a little bit about this taurus energy here all right so you see they're taking their time i told you Taurus energy is about patience okay so they are waiting and they're being very slow and it's kind of annoying for you but this is imperative because if they are to have this new beginning in love the first thing they may have to do is love themselves so they have had the ego death everything has broken down they've started their healing but healing is only the first step or rather the second step ego death is the first step healing is the second step for them to get where they're going and they have to get into that vibration of self-love or else they're never going to love you the way you deserve to be loved. They're only going to be latching on to you for narc supply or as a crutch to get through life. And you don't want that. Because they can easily discard you and get another crutch. Literally. <laughs> so they have to love themselves first. So they're taking their time. They're loving themselves. And I think there are a lot of burdens and responsibilities that they have that they can't release right now. They have to find a practical solution to it. So whilst they love themselves, they're also find a, tr trying to find a practical solution to a karmic energy that is in their life. Okay? This is a queen of swords. Okay? This is a verbally abusive karmic that keeps popping up. Talk to us about divine plans. Why did you give us that? All right. So part of divine plan is this karmic energy, this karmic cycle that's in their life, right? They know that they um, screwed up in the past, whether with you and with other people. And they know that this karma is part of their divine plan. And they know that they just can't run away from it. So they aren't able to walk away from that karmic situation right now. But they are definitely trying to figure out how to disentangle themselves from that. We have two major arcana here, Justice and the Hangman. So this is all part of their process. It's all part of what is supposed to happen. Okay. So th this, with this cycle that they're in, all part of the divine plan. And that's to give them a different perspective on things. I think this person might have been very rigid in their ways. And they didn't want to surrender to spirit. They didn't want to listen to their own intuition. Um, they had a lot of secrets but the unveiling of the secrets and them listening to their intuition and them receiving their karma, 
all that is part of divine plan which they are surrendering to because it's unearthing their wounding spirit tells about this karmic cycle <clears throat> right so they are at a crossroads right they are woke okay they're they're, they're woke okay they're seeing everything clearly okay um they might actually be in a marriage with someone we have the hierophant here or it could be that they have learned a spiritual lesson because the hierophant is about learning a spiritual lesson right and stop right right one of the lessons that they learn stop playing effing mind games with people okay <laughs> right? they learned that lesson because trust me they thought they could have played mind games before until they met the karmic and the karmic played so much mind games with them they didn't even know themselves from the next man over there the other lesson that they need to learn was how to release things that weren't for their highest good okay i think they're still holding on to some parts of their ego especially their attachment to the material world but all that's going to dissipate because um they have to move into their truth they have to express themselves and they have to choose love that is a lesson that they are learning spirit talk to me about running are they still running away from the f are they still running away from themselves yes they're still trying not to focus on the deepest parts of themselves the deepest wounding okay the one that the wounded that really started that ego self they don't want to face that yeah the one that's really made them unbalanced the one that's really made them emotionally and mentally unbalanced they don't want to face that and that's major right we have the hermit we have temperance two major arcana so they're running they're running from their childhood they don't want to look there they don't want to see what's there yeah but they have to spirit will be pushing them too because that is key to standing in their power that's the first time their power was taken away from them <clears throat> that's the first time that they were blocked from expressing their authentic their authentic truth their truth right and they have to heal they have to heal it so i don't know where they're running going to you can't run from yourself but they're gonna figure that out soon enough <clears throat> wow my throat just closed up there yeah they don't want to face that truth at all that that's just too painful all right so let's see what's going on in their life in terms of the 3d now <clears throat> they don't even want to talk about that either <laughs> Oh my metal king, former metal king. Spirit, could you tell us in four cards what's happening in their life right now? Besides them trying to come up with a practical plan. <clears throat> what the hell? All right, so something is dying. Well, we know their ego is dying slowly, <laughs> but surely. But there's something else that's coming to um, a natural end. We're going to pull some cards and see what that's about. What else, spirit? All right, so there's something here about a mature woman. Um, this mature woman could be you. Um, this mature woman could be their mother figure. Um, it could be a karmic energy, but this mature woman usually is not the karmic energy. I have to tell you. Usually it isn't the karmic energy. My karmic energy in this deck is a privileged lady. All right. We have a main male coming out here, numero uno. He's number one, and it looks like he has to, a decision in love to make. He's been enlightened by spirit, and now he needs to make a decision in love, it looks like. I'm going to pull cards on this. And then we have, we, this kept coming out. I think this has come out like past three, three times we've done this reading running. This person is receiving a gift of healing from spirit. Okay. Because we have the star card here with the card number 17. And this gift is coming out from the universe. So there's a gift of healing that's coming through here. But there's also a gift of strength that this person is getting because 17 reduced to 8. Okay. So let's see what's going on. Now this person could be, your person could be wanting to give you a gift. Or maybe the, they're trying to give the person in their life a gift. Maybe a gift of truth. Let, let's pull cards spirit tell us why you gave us the coffin what's that about now it could actually be that somebody um in their life might have transitioned but i don't think it's that 
Spirit, tell us what this is about. This is about a relationship with a distorted feminine. Okay, so this is about the karmic. We have the Empress in reverse, and that's my distorted feminine card. All right, so there's some kind of connection with a distorted feminine that's slowly dying. Yeah, your person has had, has had an epiphany about that person. We have the tower in reverse. So that's major. These are major realizations, okay? Because this is basically like the death card, a major arcana. Then we have the empress in reverse. We have the tower in reverse. So this is big changes for your person. And then bam, they're recognizing that this person that they're with, it has nothing to do with love and all about codependency, both their codependency and the person's codependency. So they're realizing that and that foundation that they built is slowly crumbling because it was never secure in the first place. It was built on illusions, lies and pain. Tell us about this mature woman. Alrighty. So. Let me get another card. Because I really don't think that's the karmic though. I really think this is you. I think your person is thinking about the one that they love because it's a card number six. And card number six about the lovers. So your person wants to make a move towards their lover. And they know to do that, they have to get rid of any kind of codependent or toxic energies in their life. With this devil card, they have to come off their high horse here and have that ego death. And they also have to work on themselves. And that's what your person is doing right now. So they're releasing any kind of toxicity from their life. They're releasing that ego and pride. And they're working diligently on themselves and also in the material world in order to build themselves up. I think they're really stressed out right now, though. We have this Nine of Swords. Spirit, tell us about this main male. Why'd you give us this card? Yeah, this main male, there's some kind of karmic cycle. It's right on this karmic cycle card. That's coming to an end. There's a big betrayal. And the card under the deck was betrayal. There's a big betrayal that happened in this person's life. Um, with a karmic who was only there for this person's money um, and was very codependent on them, very clingy. Um, your person's releasing that. They're no longer fighting for that connection. Right? They, they're just letting that go. And what is this gift all about, Spirit? This gift, um, your person's going back and forth. They want to come and make some kind of offer to you. It could be a gift of their truth. It could be an actual physical gift. But they're going back and forth because um, they think that if they come forward to give this gift to you or present this gift to you, um, there's going to be a lot of um, confusion and conflict. Or it could be that your person's juggling two situations right now and there's a lot of conflict in their life. So um, they're not able to bring that gift forward. I think there's a, some kind of breakup that's happening right now. But this, great, this breakup, is really a gift in disguise because it's going to allow your person to walk away we have here walk away from the things that no longer serve them so that they can really um, manifest um, the life that they want with the person that they want to be with okay all right so let's have a look at your person's headspace where you are concerned df i'm going to be using this royal dark tarot i don't like dark decks but i got this deck because one of my guys that i use for spirit release therapy is actually a warrior and he kind of popped up and said that my dm sent him as a protector and he was just there standing outside my aura charlotte's like what the hell is this i said that he just appeared anyway so he's been with me for about a year now mm -hmm. so I have decks on all my guides. So this guy, this deck is the warrior deck. And all DMs are warriors. So I'm going to be using this. All right. So the card underneath the deck is all about the hermit. Well, we know that. They've been in hermit mode since Christmas, right? I just dragged them out for Valentine's Day. But since Christmas, they've been in hermit mode. I'm really doing some, again, the same thing, right? It's the same thing like this card. Where was it? Look. Isn't it the same thing? Looking in, looking at their reflection, really doing some deep self-reflection here so that they can find the truth. All right. So when your person thinks about you, thinks about this connection, and um, what's the headspace? 
we have what the hell is this the devil <laughs> whoa that's heavy energy the devil <laughs> so that's capricorn there we have the four of pentacles taurus Virgo, capricorn energy we have the seven of swords in reverse Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And we have the Queen of Swords, reverse Libra energy, but it's one of our karmic energies, okay? All right, so um, without clarification, I see that this person, um, they feel bound to you, especially sexually bound to you. I think there's a lot of sexual chemistry here and they feel kind of trapped. And that trapped feeling makes them feel even more defensive against you. And that's why they're in this Four of Pentacles energy where they're still holding on to things that they should really be releasing, okay? They want to be truthful. They want to be authentic. They want to stand their truth with this Seven of Swords in reverse here. But there's a karmic energy here that's still in their periphery, or rather, not even a periphery, still in their life, still front and center, it seems, that they need to deal with. So let me pull some cards and clarify and let me give you the proper message, okay? So Spirit, why would you give us the devil for when they think about the F? Yeah, they're still trapped in toxicity, okay? They're not confused at all. They know what they're supposed to do. But there is still this devil energy, whether it's substances, a toxic partner, toxic situation, that they're still entrapped in because they have not drilled down to the root cause of their behaviors why they're so easily bored with life, why they're listless, and why they're with this calming energy. They've not drilled down to the root cause of it all. They're still resisting looking at that one, that, at that, that, that main wounding. They're still resisting that because they don't want to face that. They still want to run from that. What's this four of pentacles here? Yeah? Yeah, they, they, they see that you have established a boundary, but now they are, they're also trying to establish a boundary with you. You're getting too close, so they're trying to guard their heart here. But they do want to come forward and speak their truth. Um, <clears throat> they do want to get rid of this third party that exists between you guys, but they're stressed out. And the reason why they're stressed out, they have so much negative thoughts. They have so much phobias about what could go wrong. But they want to release this devil energy. They really do. But until they drill down to the core aspect or the core issue or their core wound, they're not going to get rid themselves of that devil energy completely. So it looks like another tower moment might be um, called for. Let's see the seven of swords reverse. And they will continue to get tower moments until they face themselves. yeah right so they're still not taking charge and remember what i said yesterday until they take charge of their life they will not be released from that karmic situation they've been hoping all this time that the karmic would leave no the karmic is not going to leave they have to take charge of that situation that is their lesson okay still juggling still going back and forth here but they know that they have to walk away they do know that they're just hoping that somebody else walks away first and what about this karmic? Why do you give us this spirit? Yeah, there's an investment that they've made in that karmic energy. It could be a monetary investment. They could have business together. But they no longer want to invest it because they've not gotten any return on their investment. They no longer want to give to that situation. But there's some sort of investment here. But they're not taking action to release themselves. They're, uh, again, trying to avoid the situation, trying to avoid their core wounding, hoping that it will all go away and things will go back to normal, but it can't. It can't. So it looks like another tower moment might be on the horizon um, for your Metal King because he's still holding on to things that he should be releasing. So anyway, if this resonates with you guys, join me in the extended. Now what we're going to do, th do there is look at Metal King's heart space energy for you what metal king might be hiding right now 
what is blocking the connection, messages from his 3D self, 5D self, and also potential actions towards you um, by the end of the month, okay? I um, mean, if you aren't able to join me either on Patreon, and Patreon is $5.55 um, for the month for access to all my extendeds, and I do at least three every week. Um, you can also buy the buy the link separately or rent the link separately um, for three dollars and thirty three cents on Vimeo. All the links for the extendants are in the pinned comment at the top of the comment section. Okay, okay, guys. So take care. Bye.